take a look at this one. Yeah, very mute, muted colors here. Cool drawing though. All right. So colors are there. So if we look at the reference here, the, and this is yeah, the values, the value shapes are very distinct. Wow, that really pops against that. And you could almost just trace the value of the shadows and it's a very clear shape. Uh, mm. As we go over here, could do that, but it's not as distinct in terms of like, here's the shadow, but it merges with like darkness here. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is I would want a clear distinction. And the way we do that, at least how I would do it, is probably just let this be as bright as what we're seeing over here. And then let the shadows kind of group together like this. And it'll just feel like it has more of the illusion of reality. So just group that all together, group this all together. And now it's, I think, an easier read. So if we turn that off, it's like very muddy, not distinct. And now we've simplified it. And then of course you can go in there and you know put the different gradations of, of color where they need to be, depending on the local color. But yeah, simplify those value groups. And again, if you do prefer what you already have, simplify value groups and then lower the opacity and find some like balance point between them. It's a little bit like that. I'm just looking at the reference and how the highlights are treated. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of redness here. Yeah, I think the highlights you have uh, are missing a bit of saturation. Like if, yeah, as I click here, then I click here, the hue doesn't change much. Mm -hmm. And I would like for that hue to go probably more saturated and probably a little bit more towards yellow like this. Uh, that's too much, but you get the idea. Right, right. Um, all right, so just a quick checklist value groups, and then uh, apply the, the color temperatures into the different value groups, and then simplify that way. But I, I don't really have much else to add unless you have any specific questions that I can help with. Um, no, yeah, I didn't have that much stuff to this week. Mm -hmm. um, I did have a fun question to ask, which is when you squint, how hard do you squint? Uh... <laughs> 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 Let me show you what it looks like for me when I'm squinting at it. So I'll go ahead and uh, blur it. And it's going to be a little bit darker too because my eyelashes get in the way. Mm -hmm. It pretty much looks like that. So I'm squinting until it looks like that. So from this till that. Dang. Yeah. Because I, I also blur it. Huh? You're squinting a lot harder than I am. <laughs> yeah, because because I, I I also blur my eyes too. So if you're able to blur your eyes, I I, I squint and blur because it's much easier to see the value groups. Yeah, that's so interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Um. There's pretty much no other questions I really had other than that. <laughs> Great work, man. Are these from imagination? I mean, like without reference. Um, some of these are, uh, most of them are with reference though. Okay. Yeah. Reference or not, there is something that I'm going to point out. It, it seems like, you know, the ratios of these are pretty good. Eyes, nose and mouth, but I feel like the, the cranium is, is really tiny comparatively. Like the eyes are usually about halfway. So if here's the halfway mark, 
Um, and there's this much space up here, this much space down here. When the eyes are there, nose, jaw. This space, or this distance, is also almost like the same up here. So you can kind of like fit in the cranium like that. Right, so having said that, it, it seems like there's all this real estate and then it should be like way up there. Uh, gotcha. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. It's way too big. Probably like this doubled upward because the eyes actually sit in right here. That's where they're centered. Um, so if you drew that line here, there's like this much space missing um, up top. So um, easy fix. Just make that cranium bigger. Same thing here. Yeah. And so I guess that would be just be a checklist for you if you're you know drawing characters or figures, heads, faces. Just remember that the eyes, if they're here and then the nose and the mouth are there, it's gonna be about the same distance up here where the top of the head's gonna be. Otherwise, like, you know, we're used to seeing this proportion and ratio. Uh, and so unless you're making a cartoon or stylized version of it, if this is all flattened down and you try to render it realistically, it'll look weird unless you're stylizing it. So keep that in mind for those. I don't know why Discord images are so slow. These are, I, I love these. I mean, like they have a nice charcoal quality to them.